Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another super cool radio interview. I'm your host, as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have an incredible guest joining me at this time. He is an incredible singer songwriter from Ireland, the frontman of Mark Daly and the Ravens, and currently on tour supporting Mr. Big. Please welcome Mark Daly. How's it going? Thanks for having me on, Matthew. Of course, of course. Uh, really excited to chat with you. You've uh, started off 2024. Uh, you're very busy. Uh, you've got some new music in the works. You're currently on tour, and I know we got quite a bit to discuss uh, in this interview. Yes. <laughs> so jumping into the current tour, you are supporting Mr. Big right now, actually currently on tour as I'm talking to you. So how is everything going with the tour? It, it's been absolutely amazing uh, so far. We've, we're a few shows in. Um, the Mr. Big guys have been fantastic to us. Um, we're, the shows have been incredible. So really, really happy with uh, how it's all started. All right. I'm really happy to hear about that. So uh, is this the first time touring with, with Mr. Big or have you toured with them before? It is. First time I met uh, Eric Martin, the singer in Ireland. And uh, we played a show together in Dublin. And uh then when we got invited out for the US, we were like, yes, full band shows. And, and uh, it's just been amazing. Loved every second of it. I'm really happy to hear that. So like, what's been like some of your favorite moments uh, from this tour so far? Um, they, they all kind of stand out really. Thankfully, there's nothing negative. Um, <laughs> everything has been just flowing really easily. I'm scared to say it because it's been going that well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been really good. I think... Um, we had a couple of nights ago, we were in Patchog uh, last night uh, in Long Island, a big theater there. So the big stages and the big crowds and uh, I just, it's been so cool meeting everybody at the merch table afterwards and people are picking up the new record and just uh, hearing really positive things. So it's been brilliant. Oh, that is awesome. That is so great to hear uh, with that. So I also heard, um, is there some like uh, solo headlining tours as well throughout this run? Yeah, we, we've done a couple of shows, uh, our own shows as well. And then uh, we've one coming up now in West Point very soon in New York. And then we're finishing off the tour in Marysville, Ohio, just outside Columbus with our own show as well. So there, uh, it's, it's crazy to be playing some headline shows in America. Oh, no, definitely for sure. So like, I, I'm curious, so like for the, like, obviously you have the tours with uh, show with Mr. Big and then um, your headlining shows throughout this tour. So, like, um, is it different to, like, have a headlining show compared to supporting? It is. It feels different. It, it's great to play so much more music on the headliner uh, shows, but then nerve-wracking as well because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. It's our first time out here. Um, we had a show in Columbus, a headline one, and we just didn't know, was anyone going to show up or, like, what's going to happen? And we got some great support. So the fact that we were able to, to pull off a headline show was amazing. I'm really happy to hear that, and um, I know I'm a little bit further Midwest, but I do hopefully uh, get to catch you at a show sometime, maybe on another tour. But uh, how has the reception been so far for um, for the headlining shows? No, oh, it was it been really, really good. Um, what's been fun is we're just telling everyone these are the first times we've ever played these songs. <laughs> so the first headlining show was a bit nerve wracking. Uh, we're like let's just play them and play them live and just see what happens. And uh, surprisingly, the, the new ones have gone down just so well. So in our, because we have a shorter set with Mr. Big. Um, so we've, our set list has changed in the last day or two because we've loved playing the new ones so much. We're like, ah, let's just play all the new ones. Uh, we have the, our new record, we have it on sale at the shows, but it's not released. So it's kind of cool to be like, you can only pick up the album at the shows and in a few months time, the record will be out. Uh, but we've the first single of this new record drops tomorrow. And then every kind of 
four to six weeks there'll be a new single out yeah definitely yeah switching gears talking about the new music as you said the albums currently only available at the merch table so make sure to see mark daly and the ravens live pick up the new album and yeah february 2nd the uh new single i want to be more uh is released i do want to talk about that obviously very highly anticipated i'm really excited to hear it so like what can people expect from the single musically and lyrically this this one is kind of a fun energetic kind of rock song um you know on the record we've got some deep dark stuff and then we've got some fun rock and roll stuff so i think we've blended the two together really nicely um i want to be more is kind of like striving to be better always like continuing on especially in the music industry you got to keep going you got to keep going and this one's like i want to be more i want to be more and that's kind of the message behind it and it's it's really fun to play live and uh it was uh, we recorded it in el paso in texas at the sonic ranch studios and the uh, producer brian virtue was on it and he's done like 30 seconds to mars jane's addiction audio slave so we were like what going into the studio we're like this is going to be crazy working with him and it turned out incredible so really happy with the production and um and everything with with that track so i can't wait for everyone to hear it tomorrow <laughs> for the first time oh yeah definitely for sure i'm as i said i'm very excited so how like how was it uh making a connection with the producer and working with him like uh, how did that come about uh it was through the label they organized the producer and then when they told me who it was i was like okay this is interesting because <laughs> uh, some um, artists that I really love. So I knew that we'd, we'd get on well. I knew that the style kind of matched what the records um, he'd done. And from the second we walked into the studio, I just knew it was going to be, it was easy to work with, knew exactly how to get the best out of us. And it was like, it was stress-free. It was fun. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, loved, loved recording with Brian. I'm really happy to hear it was a very positive experience, and uh, it sounds like you guys got some great music that I'm very excited to listen to very soon. So uh, I'm curious, so this is going to be off the upcoming album, Devil's Arms. Is yes. I want to be more uh, like a good representation of overall the overall album. It is, because there's <clears throat> three or four kind of songs in that style. And then we've got a couple where we go off into our own world. And that's, uh, I love doing that as well, where we're kind of not following any rules. We're just like, just going with the flow. We're not watching like the times of the track. Like I want to be more, would be like a rock song that I feel like has commercial kind of value to it. Uh, it's catchy. It's got melodies. We purposely did that and we like to make it as catchy as possible. And then the other tracks, we were just like, let's just go for it and just have fun. And we weren't watching, like, if it's over five minutes, we're like, that's fine. But if you're looking at a song for radio and stuff like that, you you, could, you do have to watch the time and you, you do have to watch your structure. And uh, I Want to Be More is kind of like that one, but didn't lose any of, like, the message behind the song, which I thought was really important. No, that's really great to hear because you do have to have that balance. You have to have that commercial side of radio, but also you got to, you know, stay genuine to yourself. You don't want to make a song that you're, yeah. you know, disingenuous yeah. to yourself. Yeah, because then we'll have to play it all the time, and then we're like, oh, we don't like this one. <laughs> it's like, no, it's nice to, like, every song in the set now, we're all, like, excited when it's coming up. We're like, oh, I can't wait to play this one. So I think that's a really positive sign every night that me and the guys in the band are just like, I can't wait to play that one tonight. So I'm curious, uh, can you say, can you give any hints, uh, like, uh, like what songs off the uh, new album you've been playing live? Yes, we've been playing uh, for the last two nights. For the first time, we've been playing a song called Brighter Days. And that was one of the tracks where we went off into our own world. And I, I was like, I don't know how this is going to go down with an audience because it's, it's kind of got a real Pink Floyd kind of vibe to it. Uh, it's picked up like loads of classic rock influences on it. And it's kind of slow tempo, deep lyrics. And I was like, I wonder how this is going to go. And last night we were at the merch boot meeting all these people after the show they were like that was my favorite song that was my favorite song and i was like wow um we've been playing the title track devil's arms i want to be more better off alone all these songs are off the the new record all oh, right on i'm glad you guys have got it as i said you know great uh reception from these songs it was like i find it kind of funny i was listening to your music last night on youtube and it came up like after a couple of your songs like Pink Floyd was a suggested uh, artist, so it's kind of funny that you said Pink Floyd as kind of with um with with my experience last night on YouTube. Nice one, nice one. Love Pink Floyd. <laughs> so um, 
I'm curious for you. I know this might be a little challenging question, but like, uh, do you have a favorite song off Devil's Arms? I it changes, which is really positive. I think like, like there's a song on it called "Better Off Alone," which really love playing live. Um, there's a song on the the new record called "You Lie," and I think that's my favorite. And again, that's often into the, the the crazy no structure, and we've got some great backing vocals on it, and it's a deep dark song, and uh, I think it's my favorite. It's my favorite right now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on right on. Well, I I definitely love checking out uh, the album. Can you give me hints, like um, when I obviously you can buy it at the merch table at shows, but um, do you have a release date in mind for Devil's Arms? It's gonna be in the next few months. Um, with the first single dropping tomorrow and then i think we'll have like a kind of a waterfall release like every uh every four to six weeks there'll be a new single out and then the whole thing will drop but uh, we're not going to release like all eight singles but um the I, i'm guessing it will be within like you know, three four months right on well i will i'm definitely looking forward to checking out the whole album and of course i'm looking forward to checking out the first single as well i want to be more but I, I'm curious, I did see, uh, you know, some of the artwork uh, that you've been using for Devil's Arms. And I'm curious, like, how did, uh, how did that come out? Because I, I love just the colors and the contrast you have in there. Nice one. Well, it was uh, talking about it with my label when we were on tour. And Mike at the label, we were just sitting talking about the album and the meaning behind it and everything. And then he was kind of like, what if we have this, like, the, the finger pointing and it's like... Uh, like basically the message behind the artwork is kind of avoiding toxicity um, you know moving away from toxic relationships kind of putting old things to bed and moving into new and like you know it's kind of like the, the temptation's calling you but you're coming away from it and and starting with a clean fresh slate all right i really like i like how like um I don't know if I can say too much, but I do. I, I just like how um, just how really like the red is very like bright and like very vivid in that. And it really just stood out to me when I was looking at it. Nice one. Yeah, it's actually the artwork is going to be released today. So it's fine. We can Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure. But um, but yeah, no, it, it turned out incredible. And I just like it like, you know, just based off what you're saying, I think it's going to match like the, the music and the aesthetic very well. Yes, absolutely. I do got a few more things I did just want to cover real quick because I know you're currently on tour. I know you've been very busy the last uh, couple of days. So um, for you, like, how do you prepare, like mentally prepare uh, to perform live on a, at a show? Um, I'd be kind of quiet all day and thinking about it like in my head because we were driving in a van. So we're doing the drives and it's kind of just like just relaxing, taking it easy. Uh, before we go backstage, we do some warm ups, drink some whiskey and uh that that helps uh, that's just good for the voice you know so uh, <laughs> i'm just thinking about being a professional here so uh have a little bit of whiskey uh warm up and go out and just we kind of reserve our energy all day uh for the show and then go out and just we we like to go out and give it everything and put all the energy we got into it oh right on right no definitely for sure definitely after you know keep that energy reserve and of course you know shot of whiskey never hurt anything yeah exactly Good. <laughs> <laughs> um but I, i'm curious i know you've, you've talked about in previous interviews how much uh, you really like touring and so i'm curious like what are like uh, some of your favorite aspects of tour life i i love traveling anyway like just traveling and like getting to see so much of the world is amazing um but like just it's the live shows it's like the second we the, the first song kicks in it's like just it's you go into a different world altogether and i love getting into that zone and uh, i really love meeting people as well i get to meet so many people on the road crew members you know um people at the merch afterwards like we we run down to march after and we're like hey anyone want to buy the record and it's crazy to see cues of people like that are like yeah we want to buy the record we loved your set and uh, that never gets old, like never gets old. It's always like a really good feeling. So, you know, the traveling, the playing and the meeting people is just amazing. All right. I'm, I'm really happy for, I know, um, you played, you know, many tours toured with uh, many great, uh, artists and you're currently on tour with Mr. Big. So I, I'm really glad to hear like overall, everything's been super positive and you can, uh, mm -hmm. great receptions and I'm super excited to hear more new music from you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So I got 
One final question, then we'll talk about the future plans for 2024 for you. But I know, as I said, you've toured with, you know, Queensryche, Jeff Tate, you know, Candlebox, currently on tour with Mr. Big. Is there any bands you want to tour with that you have not yet? There's so many out there. There's so many great bands. Uh, I'm a big fan of um, Highly Suspect. I'd love to tour with them. I'm a big fan of Blue October. I'd love to tour with them. I've got, you know, the, those, the rock bands that are out playing these shows in America that I feel like we've got, like, similar influences with so um yeah so hopefully one day that will happen <laughs> i think highly suspect would be awesome i i do want to throw out one and because i think it'll be cool i think you guys in royal blood would be cool we we're actually listening to that record on the drive back from the show last night uh james brown the guitar player was like have you properly listened to the new record and i was like no i actually haven't and then we we're playing it i was like oh this is cool this is really good Oh, you know, I was again listening to you know Royal Blood last night and um, you guys, and I was like, man, this would be cool if they tour together. So hopefully, who's ever watching, listening, somebody make that happen because that would be incredible. <laughs> James would be delighted to hear that anyway because he was he was saying it last night. <laughs> well, hey, I'm awesome coincidence by the way. I'm I'm very happy to hear that. I do hope it happens. Nice one. But uh, so now, folks, and as I'm closing out this interview, uh, we're only, you know, just flipped to February in 2024 and you've got new music coming out. You're currently on tour. So, like, what is the rest of this year looking like for you? It's going to be crazy. Uh, I know that it, every year seems to be getting crazier in the, in the music world. Um, but with so much music being released, it's just like we're shooting. Today's our first day off and we're shooting music video. Um, We've two more days off and we're shooting two more music videos. So we're making the best of the time here. So it's going to be lots of releases. Um, and hopefully we're going to be confirming a couple of more tours for later in the year as well, because uh, we just love playing out here in America and hopefully we get to keep doing it. Right on. I know it sounds like you're going to be staying very busy for the rest of this year. And I'm definitely looking forward to all the content you have uh, coming up, including the music videos, music, all of that. And hopefully I get to catch you at a show at some time as well. Absolutely, that would be great. So, uh, for everyone watching, listening, where are the best places to find Mark Daly online? I suppose everything is on the website, um, markdalyofficial.com. Um, all our tour shenanigans and backstage stuff and, and st is up on Instagram, of course, uh, under Mark Daly Music and Facebook and all the other places as well. Right on. I'll leave some links for Mark Daly in the description of his podcast. Please check him out, subscribe, give him a follow, and check out his music as well. But Mark, thank you so much for stopping by Super Cool Radio. Honored to have you on the podcast, and I had such a great time chatting with you. Matthew, the pleasure, and thank you for having me on. Of course, of course. For Mark Daly, I'm your host as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for watching and listening to Super Cool Radio. And remember, stay frosty.